It's not quite a rally, but a gathering at the Turkish ambassador's residence in Hamburg, part of a drive to get more support for President Erdogan ahead of Turkey's referendum to expand his powers in the country. And it's also created a major dispute. After Germany cancelled rallies by Turkish ministers campaigning on behalf of President Erdogan last week, the reason, according to local German authorities, were security concerns. We've always seen Germany as a friend. Germany has always been a friendly country for Turkey, but seeing that Germany is acting systematically against Turkey, putting pressure in a systematic way, is unacceptable. If Germany is our friend, this behavior is not befitting of a friend. We have 3.5 million Turkish people living here, but the majority have not been accepted for German citizenship. Please, do not try to give us human rights lessons or lectures. At a rally in Istanbul on Sunday, a fierce response from Mr. Erdogan, who likened the move to Nazi tactics. They thought Tayyip Erdogan would go to Germany. If I want to go to Germany, I will. And if you don't let me in through your doors, if you don't let me speak, then I will make the world rise to its feet. The situation has erupted into a war of words between the two countries, with the Turkish government accusing Germany of clamping down on its freedom of speech. Germany has responded by saying that the situation needs to calm down. Not everyone in the Turkish community has gotten behind Erdogan's criticism. A small protest close by voiced disapproval of the direction in which President Erdogan is taking the country. It's unacceptable that a NATO member and possible future EU member is drifting towards dictatorship. We can't let that happen. And that's a view that's been echoed in the German press, with many accusing the Turkish president of exploiting Germany's freedom of speech to expand what they say are his moves to further his authority and deny freedom of speech. But Germany is in a bind. A deal with Turkey to prevent further refugees from entering the EU is crucial for the country. And in an election year, another crisis involving asylum seekers would be a disaster for Angela Merkel if she has any hopes to be re-elected. Sonia Gallego, Al Jazeera, Hamburg.